Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we talked about the state variables of a gas. The three variables, pressure, volume, and temperature, which indicate the state that the gas is in at any point in time. And we know that as a gas changes, those state variables change. Over the years, they did a study on those state variables, and the first relationship that we came up with here was what we call Charles' Law. Charles' Law is a law that indicates a relationship between the volume and the temperature of a gas. And what they did was they set up some experiment where they kept the pressure constant, and they tried to find the relationship between the two gases. So the, the uh, experiment could have been something like this, where they have like a cylinder with a piston, they put a certain amount of weight on top of that, pushing down on the gas. There's a gas inside here, so here's the gas. And then they would um, increase and decrease the temperature. As they increase the temperature, the gas would expand. As they decrease the temperature, the gas would contract, become smaller in volume. And of course, uh, the, it's caused by the pressure. The pressure is equal to the force divided by the area. And of course, the piston would have a cross-sectional area A. The force would be provided by the mass put on top of the piston. So that would be M times G for the weight divided by the area. And so by keeping that as a constant, they could see the relationship of how the volume would change with temperature. They then plotted that on a chart. They measured the volume when the temperature was 100 degrees centigrade. They measured the volume when the temperature was 0 degrees centigrade. They noticed, of course, a delta V, a change in the volume. But they did notice that there was a straight line relationship here, like the equation y equals mx plus b. So they measured the slope, and they started extrapolating out. And they said, well, what if the gas was colder and colder and colder? What would happen to the volume? Of course, they were not able to cool down to very, very low temperatures like we can today. But if they extrapolate this mathematically, they find out that theoretically, the volume of that gas would reach a zero volume when the temperature went down to minus 273 degrees centigrade, which, of course, now we understand to be zero Kelvin, absolute zero. Of course, if you want to now take that into an equation, or turn it into an equation, we can say that the volume at any point as a function of temperature is equal to mx plus b. Now, of course, the horizontal axis is temperature. And so what was going to be the slope? Well, the slope was going, going to be the change in the volume over the temperature. So that would be delta v, the change in the volume, over the change in the temperature, which would be 100 degrees centigrade uh, degrees. Um, and of course, that would have to be a measured quantity. And then, of course, we have the intercept, which would be plus uh, V sub naught. So that was, a, that was the way in which we were able to set up that equation and actually calculate or extrapolate out what the volume would be at absolute zero. Very interesting result. So that was the first of the three laws that determined the relationship, at least in this case, between the two state variables, volume and temperature. In the next couple of videos, we'll show you some other relationships, and then we'll put it all together into a very famous thermodynamic equation. So if you're interested, stay tuned, take a look at the next videos, and see how these laws enabled us to get the feeling, the understanding between the state variables of these gases.